Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Clyde. Uh, thank you for your interest in the SEO program provided by Flat Paper Shop. Today, I will be going through with you what gets taken care of in SEO from start to finish. Excuse me. Um, if you have a storefront business or a physical location where you'll be doing business from, I will set you up with Google Local. Google Local will allow you to start accepting uh, Google reviews. All right. Uh, the on-page SEO, I could probably show you uh, better than I could tell you. You'll leave this, uh, well, I'll just come back to it. Most of the times when uh, search engines come around to crawl your site, all the pretty stuff on your page, they really don't take um, interest to, they really don't pay attention to it. But um, if you have your H1 tags and your H2 tags in the right place, then that would help out a little bit. But other than that, um, like I said, the, the pretty stuff on the front page they really don't see, so we have to go back into the coding of your site, see what's there, what needs to be applied, what does not need to be applied. Okay. Uh, one of the first things that they will look for is a description of your site or blog. And as you can see from mine, I have it here, meta name, description, content, SEO artist, blah, 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 blah. All right, the next thing that we'll be looking for is keywords. And I have keywords quite a few times through there. Give me one second. And as you can see down here, we have meta name, keywords, content, affordable search engine optimization, better keywords, business SEO, DC SEO, et cetera, et cetera. These things will help when uh, bots come around to your site. They're going to crawl your site for information. They're going to be able to see particularly, and not particularly, exactly what your site is about. Now, these keywords in this description has to be relevant for you order to rank, meaning that the keywords that I use also need to be on the front end, visible on the site. Um, and it also allows the, uh, the search engines to properly index the site. So if somebody was looking for how to bake a cake, my site would not pop up in that site if I had something like, you know, uh, something talking about cake. It could be some type of software. There's a couple softwares with the name cake in it that's used for SEO. But my site wouldn't pull up in there because I'm defining my site exactly what it's about, making it relevant to whoever's searching. You know, if they're looking for SEO, they're looking for affordable search engine optimization, they're looking for better keywords, okay. My site provides that type of service. So those are the keywords that need to be uh, implemented into the site. Okay. Also, if you have like low ranking keywords, I'm, I'm gonna just give you a quick example. If I was a brand new SEO guy and I said, you know what, the only thing I wanna rank for is SEO. It'd be literally impossible because there's so much competition and the market is just so saturated. So what we have to do is use better keywords like long tail keywords that um, people are, are, are still Googling on the internet. So if I was looking for like, well, how can I make better keywords? That phrase right there, that phrase is basically a long tail keyword, and I could put that and add that into my site. But before I do that, I need to find out how many times that particular phrase is being searched and queried um, over the past 90 days. Now, if it's a high search volume, it's over 1,000, over 2,000, I'm thinking, okay, all right, over 1,000, over 2,000, maybe I could get one or two clicks from that. One or two clicks, maybe I could get one sale from that. And you know that it's beneficial, but it's good to always optimize your keywords to find out what people are searching, what they're querying, because the way that I think may not be the uh, the next way that somebody else is thinking. So I have to think outside the box and find better keywords that are going to work with your site and make it easier to rank. Okay, so that's that. Um, current ranking keywords, new keywords. We went through that. Linking social channels. Um, if you have a large uh, Twitter following, Facebook gathering, Google Plus plusing, um, those social channels, even if you have it on your site and you say, hey, you click this button, like me, um, click this button, follow me, those things need to be correctly implemented into your site. If not, all that social traffic that you're getting, even though people can link to your site, the, the quality of those discussions, the quality of the interactions every day, those click-through rates and everything like that, none of those points are going to get applied to your site if those social channels are not appropriately linked to your site. Now, if you don't have any uh, traffic or social channels on your site, it's a good way to start 
getting uh, high PR 7 through 9 backlinks by just signing up on social search engines and putting in your meta description on those social on those social search engines to link back to your site okay um, and I'll go through those with you individually because everybody is uh, kind of different if you're somebody that's dealing with jewelry per se um, Pinterest and Instagram is something that you would highly want to use as well as Facebook never want to disclose Facebook because they kind of have like the biggest um, the biggest, uh, what do you call it, the, the biggest amount of users. So you, you never want to disclose that or, or defer away from that traffic. Okay. Um, general backlinks, I could show you better than I could tell you. So here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me just take the first one off the list. And notebooks. Inside of this section, I mean, you'll see this task. I think I got another video explaining the task and everything like that. But um, once you jump in, if you have an iPhone or an Android, um, you're going to want to pick one of these two to go ahead and download it so you keep track of the projects on your phone. Um, we all are in different time zones, but you'll get these things immediately. As I, as I check something off and complete it, you get an instant notification that you know that, you know, that particular task is done. All right, so uh, standard backlinks. You get a standard backlinks, and I'll just give this a second to kind of populate. Um, you'll have this uh, same thing once you sign up um, for the platform. You'll be able to click on any one of these backlinks, and to the right of it, you'll be able to see that page's particular score backlink. Now, the general backlinks are free, and they rank from anywhere from zero to nine, but um, not a whole lot of nines in it. Okay, I think it's probably maybe about one or two nines in it. And uh, you see here, here's a nine. I'll just click that, and you can verify the backlink that it reports right back to your site. So that's that. Um, let's go into the paid backlinks. Paid backlinks are only um, PR seven through nine, nothing less. Okay, that comes with the uh, second month of service. So as you can see here, Amazon, Delicious Apache, Foursquare, CNN, Microsoft, Study Abroad, Columbia, uh, a lot of EDUs in there, and a lot of government uh, backlinks in there. Okay, so I'll just click on one of them. Here's Amazon Kindle, Direct Publishing, Best Car Specs, and this Dars LTD. Okay. Uh, there's those two things. The automation. The automation, we'll go through this um, when, 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 once you uh, get inside the platform. Uh, this is basically for your social networks and, 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 and posting and blogging and sharing things across social media. You'll only have to post... Um, you, you only have to post one time, and whatever you post at one time, I will make sure that gets automated. I'll show you how to set that up, but that will get automated across all your social networks. You can set up a time and date, so um, let's say you want to do one post, it's the same post, let's say, I love SEO, and you know we're just, we're just going to post that out there. So one post will go to Twitter, it might go right away, or you can set a specific time. Um, like seven, eight o'clock, nine, ten o'clock, any time that you want. But I'll show you how to do that. Okay. Uh, the Google verification, Bing verification, Yandex, and Alexa verification. Um, the verification. The purpose of the verification is is that the bots know that this is not a spam site. Um, it was con it was created by somebody that was real. Um, its intentions is not to uh, what do you call that? Um, you know, uh, what do they call that? Oh my God. I don't know, but I can't remember the thing, but uh, a spoof site or something like that, they, they, they just know that it's an authenticated real site. It raises the quality and the content of your website because um, basically it's authenticated and it has to go through a certain process to get authenticated so they know it's a real person. Submit your site maps. The purpose of the site map is, is that they say, Let's say, uh, oh, we could just use mine. All right, so let's go back to my site. And the site map is going to tell search engines everything that I want them uh, to basically index and look at on my site. So when it comes around, if I don't have a site map, I don't have any rules in place, it's just going to grab everything and then is going to make the bot harder to decipher what's relevant and what's not relevant. So starting off, even with this background image, if I had no site map 
and no rules in place, it would grab this image and try to rank this image with my site. I don't want it to do that. It would, um, other sections of my site, like the contact section, you know, I, for some, some people you may or may not uh, want this page indexed. Uh, my blog, um, you may or may not want your blog indexed depending on how frequently you blog and how often your content changes on your site. Okay, so let's say I had, um, okay, we'll just go with the contact information. Now, my contact information page is very limited on information. It's just, you know, the picture and a couple of lines. So I don't want the search engine to come around and, and take this and say, you know, go ahead and index that. So with the site map, I'm able to tell them exactly what I want you to grab. And that's just basically everything on my front page because it has the most relevant information. It has... Um, uh, basically what we do and the services that I provide that that's all that I wanted to grab everything else the pictures um, the the logo or anything else like that I don't want it to grab that I don't even want it to grab my, my, my Twitter feed or anything like that so I have to put rules in place and let me show you what that looks like it's about a hundred lines of code uh, some people make it uh, less but uh, hold on Okay, and these are all things that, you know, it, I mean, this list is pretty long. I'm not going to go through all of it with you, but there's some rules that need to be in place. Like if you got a WordPress site, you don't want it to grab the login information. You don't want it to grab the, uh, the inside the WP content you have, um, like images that, that, you know, you might just use them for your blog post or something like that. You don't need it to index that uh, type of information. Um, that your back office, you don't want it to, to grab any information that's leading to your back office. Okay, so we have to disallow those things like categories and tags, the CGI bin, uh, PDF papers if you got it, um, the feed if you know you, you don't want it to grab the feed, your news feed or something like that. But if you got like a strictly blogging site, you may want it to grab the feed but not index it and just want it to follow the links that's on the page. A lot of rules in place. Um, so those are the, uh, that, that's called your robots text file, and um, that's something that needs to be manually created, and I put that in there. It keeps uh, spam bots, it keeps trackbacks, it keeps um, people that are trying to hack your site, uh, people that's trying to crawl your site for whatever information, like an email or, you know, address information, anything like that, that they could possibly spam you with. So all those things need to be in place. Um, that's that the index index takes about one to three weeks and as i submit your site and get it verified and then i submit the site map the site map i mean the robots will go through the site map and say okay okay he wants this in here he doesn't want that he wants this in here he doesn't want that and it takes a little time but it, um, if you have a small website you know typically about a week all the pages of your site will be indexed into the search engines and then after that, we ping the site, and ping the site is basically just grabbing the robots and tell them, hey, I changed some things on my site. I want you to come reevaluate my site. So that'll pull all the Bing, Yahoo, Google, Yandex, and other search engine bots to um, get the information of your site and immediately update that in their records. Um, well, now to the month one, we'll start monitoring your keywords, and we'll do the paid backlinks, uh, press release. The press release is basically a news article. And um, let, me, let me be clear on this and pause this for a second. Uh, the press release, once you get your press release, whoever your local publisher, local news publisher is, you're going to want to get in contact with them to ask them also if you can publish your press release online. Uh, where I live at is Washington, D.C., so we have the Washington Post. If somebody were to send me a press release or if I have a press release, yes, I want it in PR Web, yes, I want it in PRY and all those other um, great places that provide press release services. But also at the same time, um, especially if I'm providing local services, if I have a gym, if I have a storefront or anything like that, I'm going to want to holler out at my, um, my, uh, my, uh, my, my editor that's at the, the local newspaper and ask them, you know, what is the cost? Usually it's anywhere from free to $20. Um, to go ahead and push my post on your online edition business section, local business section. Okay, and you know, as long as it's in a press release format, 
and it has the right information on there, they will go ahead and do that for you. Like I said, nine times out of 10, it's free, but sometimes there is a small fee and I can almost guarantee that doesn't go over 20 bucks, US currency, okay? Uh, and after that, we'll ping the site again and also ping the press release. And what that'll do is it is send the search engine bots out again to uh, pick up the brand new information on your site so they can rank you um, a little bit higher and see how much more content that you have. Also it provides a backlink on sites like CNN and Press Y and whatever uh, news article submissions that they do for you. Okay, in the month two, we will uh, still be monitoring your keywords. Um, we'll do a rich blog post with, which will contain about 85% of your ranking keywords. Uh, live ads, um, at that point in time, yeah, we'll see, I'll be running Google Analytics as well as Bing Analytics and seeing where the traffic is coming from, what search engines they're using, uh, what devices they're using, if they're using a desktop, if they're using a tablet, or if they're using a mobile device to see where most of your users and most of your traffic comes from so I can see where I need to run the ads. Uh, then it will ping your site again, and um, you know we'll reevaluate at that time and see what it, what needs to be done. In month three, you should be within the top ten pages of Google. Okay, if you're one of these brand new sites, um, uh, most of the brand new sites don't rank in the top fifty pages. So, and I, I'll be able to tell you that like right away before you even get my service, like where exactly you rank at. But if you are on the top 50 pages, I can guarantee you that you'll probably be on page one on month three. If not, you'll probably be within the top 10 pages in month three, and I will do the best I can um, with the keywords that are currently ranking. Once again, these keywords might not be the keywords you like, but if it's, these are the keywords that are gonna get you on the front page of Google, and it's still relevant um, to some of the services that you provide, if not all, then you know we'll go ahead and proceed uh, that way. Uh, ping, uh, yeah, we'll ping the site again uh, once we, oh, did I, I, mean, I, I skip that, the Wikipedia article? Um, yeah, I think I did, I'm sorry about that. The Wikipedia article also gets taken care of in the, uh, in the last month, and let me show you exactly what that is. It actually just puts a rich snippet, um, I think I spelled that wrong. It puts a rich snippet next to your name, uh, next to your website name, I'm sorry. Whoops. There we go. So as you can see here, there's a rich snippet here, and um, you know this definitely uh, increases your site value once you have like a Wikipedia selection because everybody can find anything and everything that they need to know about the business when it started up, um, the quality of the service, and everything else like that. Okay, um, Google Plus does the same thing, but I believe you have to do a uh, you got to have a page ranking score of two. And then if you have a Google business profile, that would also pop up in the search engines as a rich snippet uh, next to your website. Okay. Uh, and I think, yeah, I think that's basically about it. So if you're still interested in the service, I'll be online waiting on you. Or if you have a question or concern, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm usually quick to respond within uh, one or two hours. All right. So I thank you very much for your time. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. And I will see you on the front page of Google. All right.